So the bookends of uh, today's programme is centred around two traditional carols. Um, the first one, in Dulce Jubilo, dates from the Middle Ages and was originally written in Latin and also in German. And then the last piece in the programme, uh, Von Himmelhoff, was written by Martin Luther and that was written in 1534. Having said that, there's something like 500 years between the two composers of those works. Uh, the first setting, the chorale fantasy in Dulce Below, which I'm opening the programme with, starts with the well-known tune in the very top of the, of the texture. That then follows a piece by Richard Prue. Richard Prue was um, organist of a large Catholic cathedral in Chicago for a number of years, and he wrote a uh, rather, rather lovely setting of the holly and the ivy. There's just two verses of, of this that he set. One is on the very quiet stops in the organ, and the other is like a little duet between two sections of the organ. I'll then come back to you because by then it'll be time for you to get your voices warmed up for the first carol that we're going to sing together. So thank you very much for being here this afternoon, and I hope that you'll enjoy what I'm going to present for you.
Um, we're going to sing together two verses of hymn 230, and you should find, I hope, in uh, those pews, uh, a hymnal, a hymn book. And if you turn to page 230, I hope you all know it's O Little Town of Bethlehem. We're going to sing the first verse and the last verse, and I'll give you a little introduction, and then off we go. So good luck. 2.30, O Little Town of Bethlehem. So uh, the next piece is uh, a well-known um, spiritual which uh, has been arranged for the organ by Andrew Gant. Andrew Gant uh, was for a number of years um, the director of music of Her Majesty's Chapel Royal at uh, St James's Palace in London uh, and he's now uh, in uh, Oxford as one of the academic professors at one of the colleges there. So this is an arrangement of Mary had a baby. fascinated by American songwriters and so it seemed entirely appropriate to put some secular songs in here about the season. Um, now I suspect that some of you will know these from memory, some of you may never have heard them before but 
See how you get on joining in. I'm going to give you a very short introduction for Let It Snow and then uh, a relatively short introduction for chestnuts roasting by the fire. And in both, both cases, I'll be using some different sounds on the organ, so I hope it doesn't put you off too much. And when you've finished all that singing, I'll just make sure that I uh, acknowledge you before um, inviting the, um, somebody in the audience who might like to come do a pas de deux for the uh, following organ piece. Anyway, uh, I'll leave you with that thought for the moment. So let it snow, I'll just give you a little introduction. You'll get the hang of it if you've never seen it before, just follow the words. And then chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Enjoy.
So let us move on with the uh, next carol, which is in, again in the hymnal. It's 245, and this time we're going to sing the first two verses. And again, I'll give you a little introduction before them. So hymn 245, if you know it from memory, it'd be fine. It's also, thanks to my great colleague and my boss, on the screens. I think the words are coming up on the screens, I believe. But if not, it's in your programme. Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas has a little introduction. Now, I'm told that some people don't know all the words of White Christmas, but they do know the refrain. So when we get to that part of it, we'll sing that refrain probably twice uh, and see how you get on with the first part of it. The sun is shining, the grass is green, and all that stuff. We'll do that once, but we'll sing the actual refrain twice. Okay, so hopefully it'll be fairly clear when, you, when we get to that point. So have yourself a merry little Christmas and white Christmas. Good luck. <laughs>
So the, the next two uh, pieces are actually um, Advent rather than Christmas and I, I felt it was rather important just to slot in the fact that we are actually in the season of Advent even though Christmas is on the horizon. Uh, these are two settings by the great German composer J.S. Bach. Wack it out, uh, Sleeper's Wake has the um, hymn tune in the tenor line uh, which is sort of the middle of the texture uh, and it has a rather jaunty uh, little accompaniment to it. Nun come to Highland Highland, which is Saviour of the World Come, has the tune in the pedal part, that's where I play with my feet, the bass part. It's, it's fairly obvious because it's actually played on, on, on quite loud sounds. So two pieces for Advent, two hymn tunes as it were for Advent, uh, and then we'll go into our last sequence which will include the ugly sweater competition, adult style. <laughs>
So we're coming to the, the last section now, and uh, we've got two more, um, two more opportunities for you to uh, sing. And then I'm going to conclude the programme with a Takata on Von Hillhop by the American composer Garth Edmondson. Garth Edmondson was um, an organist and teacher for most of his life in Western Pennsylvania. And he wrote this really, I think, electric, you'll sort of see steam coming off the keys. So I don't know whether there's any, any um, young people that might like to come up and watch me play this piece at close hand. If you want to come up, would you like to come up now? You can come and sort of sit up here if anybody, don't be shy if you want to come up. Don't worry if you don't. If anybody wants to come up and see what it all, how it all works, you're very welcome to do so. Um, and I also want to say at the end of this course, if anybody wants to come and have a look at the organ itself, you're very welcome to do so. Um, I'm obviously very, um, very biased about this organ. I think it's a great organ. I have some pipe dreams that I'd like to, 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 do, to do with the organ as well. Oh, I've got lots of people coming up. Do you want to just come up over here and then you'll be able to see. You'll be able to see me in the last piece and you'll be able to see what happens when an organist plays. Watch my hands and my feet carefully. Uh, we've got two, two, two songs for the audience to sing first, but um, I think you'll probably enjoy seeing what happens. You'll, be also, you'll also be surprised by the size of the music, the amount of music there is. Alright, so um, here we go everybody. We're going to do the first and the last verse of Silent Night, which is 239. And then we're going to sing all of Heart the Herald Angels Sing, which is 240. It's on the, on the next page. I'll do two little, very short introductions to both of these extraordinarily well-known carols. If, is there anybody of German extraction in the audience? Anybody who has German ancestors? Connection? If you want to sing it in, in your native language and you know the words, <laughs> it's all right, you haven't got to do a solo, but you're, you're very welcome to do that. So the first and the last verse of Silent Night, and all of Heart the Herald Names sing, and then I will go straight into the last piece, the Takata von Hillock. Don't forget, if you want to photograph as a family or as individuals, we have a photographer here at the end, and also Candy Cane. That was the title of the, the programme, was it Candy Cane? There will be Candy Cane available at the end of this concert as well. Thank you all for being here. And just a little plug, next week I'm doing another concert, slightly different, uh, it'll actually be the US premiere of a new piece by Philip Moore called Nativitas, which is a series of nine musical reflections, nine poems on the themes surrounding Advent and Christmas. Same time, four o'clock, um, but that will not actually have audience participation. So if you were hoping there would be more audience participation, I'm sorry, I'm not going to do that next week uh, because the piece is going to be premiered for the first time over on this side of the pond uh, by me next Sunday, four o'clock. And also to remind you that we have worship services here every Sunday. Next Sunday is the fourth Sunday in Advent. Uh, the choir will be presenting, as they have throughout Advent, a special um, cantata. We're going to be doing the fourth movement with our musicians. On Christmas Eve, we have a service at eight o'clock, and on Christmas Day, one service at 11 o'clock in this space. So if you've not been part of worship here and would like to, please do come to worship over the Christmas period. And it just rests for me to wish you all the best for this season and thank you once again for being here. Thank you.